All right, now on how to create a honeycomb, uh, whatever, um, element. in my uh, mat and if you will check it out right here I adhere uh, scotch tape on my um, um, each other line of inches and I marked it with a pen for brighter so it will stand out so here's one there's another one, there's another one, there's another one, and each other. So, to make a honeycomb shape, I will take my next layer. Here is my first level. And it doesn't make any difference really which one you're going to start, because you're making each other one. So the first layer, um, I'm starting with my dot. Uh, some people are doing X, X's and O's. So and I'm putting, um, try to do it like um, as skinny as you want, you know, as you can uh, line and um, as straight as you can. Uh, the second one, which is not numbered or tagged, I'm missing. Then I'm going to the next. So I'm doing all scotch tape lines. Okay? And try to have um, continuous uh, line of adhesive. Okay continuous line of adhesive uh, because if there would be a hole that means uh, your cone shape is not going to be your honeycomb shape it's going to be hole in there okay so here I am doing each other one and um, in the sunlight coming into the window, sometimes it's hard to see. And I'm not straight whatsoever, so excuse me. <laughs> okay, so here I am. Uh, and I'm taking the next one. Okay, and try to layer it all at once, you know, the sheet. Oops, and there you go, you drop. And if you drop, that's more spread of your adhesive. Okay, you see there's bump, so I'm gently... So I'm starting from the center, really. Iron it out. Okay? Iron it out. And in here, you can clearly see where you missed. And while the uh, while the glossy accents are somewhat wet and take a while to, you know, to set, you can actually work it towards your missing holes to, um, you know, create those missing connections to fill up those missing connections. Although. While you're pressing, uh, you are getting fatter glue line. So, it's up to you, whichever you, you know, which, whichever is more important to you. 
I think you can see. I can see. Okay, so next layer. Uh, so the previous was on tabs. The next one gonna be not on tabs. So lined up, bottom and um, and uh, top, and do the same, but you know continuous line of adhesive, but in the next rows. next rows uh, okay going on the next level now, uh, if you suddenly sidetrack or whatever you know or step out um, and forgot which one did you do before uh, the uh, under layer comes a little lighter. You see, this are too brighter, and this one is a little lighter. So, the lighter one would be your next one. So, and it is again on the tab, tabs only. Tabs only. And that is crazy time consuming. So I would encourage you uh, to be patient because I don't think you can buy a uh, you know plasticky honeycomb material. I don't think so. So, so on a tab, on the tab. I played with um, different materials, um, glues, different glues. So, and I will show you the. Um, disasters okay the hot glue I don't see it the hot glue um, element um, first of all when I'm putting the hot glue uh, on the tablecloth and I suddenly touch the tablecloth it melts the tablecloth second of all hot glue dries out or freezes out immediately then I tried the uh, E6000 because it's outdoor uh, and uh, it's uh, really, you know, does a good job and everything. Uh, but first of all, I'm using a lot and the nozzle, you can um, buy the smaller nozzle for your glue tube or you can buy a smaller one but the aroma of the E6 Southern oh my goodness it's spinning my head so um, and then on top of that it actually leaves it it's kind of a little bit texture it's almost like a hot glue so I left the idea of using E6 Southend on that tablecloth uh, then I um, tried to use the uh, scotch, the uh, uh, scotch, uh, the score tape. You know that adhesive tape. Well, um, it barely holds. If I can pull it, you see it pull, it pulls apart. That's number one. Second of all, it's very expensive, and third it's not going to sustain the outdoors so that was not good and I uh, landed and wound up working with the glossy accents okay those are dry clear uh, I can squeeze a, ski a skinny line and they hold so there it is so all right, so here they are, my um, skirt pieces um, 
the honeycomb skirt pieces they are drying on open and some of them went unglued because I was using the glossy uh, uh, accents on the plasticky uh, on the plasticky um, Dollar Tree um, um, tablecloth uh, well um, I will say that first of all uh, creating the honeycomb uh, pattern um, in such a large amount is absolutely crazy time-consuming and uh, after you cut it all out and um, you know work it all um, out uh, you using so much of glue that it's really not uh, wise I would say so to you how to what to avoid uh, when you are working with the, uh, making a um, honeycomb pattern with these plastic sheets and glossy accents all right here's our segment of the skirt uh, I use the Dollar Tree plastic uh, uh, tablecloth and glossy accents and I ran through so many of them it's ridiculous so to when you are applying layers on the lines right how we talk each other line because of the plastic is uh, you know um, slippery surface after making so many of them um, I uh, develop a technique um, so the glue would not run out and squeeze out on the edges which makes the separation of honeycomb pattern you know to fluffing it up that honeycomb uh, so much friendlier and easier so what you do you see um, the uh, the glue and there is a space between the edge and the glue so I would step almost full half of inch of the edges when I'm applying my strip of glue so I'm starting from here coming all the way down here and stopping in here and I'm doing my strips all across I would avoid making all the way tight shut on the edges on the very edges because um, they do not allow to fluff uh, I I'm breaking them up so it's actually you know on that edge because it's um, you know angled um, so that is pretty much what you need to adhere the rectangle not just for edge thing whatever so and um, leave half of inch on each side of your glue strip because when you apply the next layer of the fabric or whatever um, and you are ironing it with your hand and paper towel it's you see it's widened so it spreads because the glue is very liquid and it's actually six out you know if if you put it all the way to the edge then you will get this you will get this you see and it's all glued shut and um, either you need to trim either you need to trim the edge uh, to open up your um, honeycomb or I mean or you need to hand um, you know pull each individual sheet so um, so uh, in here you can see if you're not gluing it all the way to the edge 
it leaves your honeycomb opening very nicely and what I um, figure out the easiest way you need to start fluffing you know start fluffing your honeycomb starting from here halfway do not open it up so and do it on all sides and see if it easily fluffs and opens up easily okay do that see if there is anything glued so you need to you know try to trim it or open up and then flip it because you see uh, it might be that you would glue it not equal so the wider the white side is uh, sticking out more so I can grab the bottom one so do it from both sides fluff it up you see this one is torn so I'm gonna need to adhere it but I'm running out of time and that's and do it from the bottom okay uh, I would adhere I'm um, I was applying the um, adhesive and I was leaving it overnight to dry and then the next day I would open up them up like this and let them dry for another day in open like that and that way um, I know for sure all the layers are dried out and secured <laughs>